वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज जॉन एंड आई टीच इंग्लिश दिस वीडियो इज फॉर टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड इंग्लिश स्टूडेंट्स यू नीड वन होम वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न ओके बिफोर बिगनिंग विद द टॉपिक लेट मी मोटिवेट यू फॉर मोटिवेशन लेट मी आस्क वन क्वेश्चन ओके एंड इफ आई आस्क यू टू नो माई क्वेश्चन इज वेरी सिंपल यू नो इट इज नॉट दैट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड दैट वॉट इज लाइफ एंड ऑल आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू बो यू बाई आस्किंग वॉट इज लाइफ and but no very simple question with what will you compare life with now if i ask you some questions you know uh, give me some example what with what will you compare your life with no uh, so if this is my questions so what will be your answer no pause the video think of some answers with what will you compare your life with and okay now you know my students used to come up with very interesting answers and we will discuss each answers no that will be very fun you know i miss my students now hope they will be enjoying my lessons through these videos okay now you know most of you have come up with uh, answers like you know uh, we can compare our life with river you know from ninth standard poem carlin and bowles river river okay most of you know most of the students come up with that, that answer and some students will say you know we compare life with race that we need to win and some students compare life is a journey and some like you know shakespeare or no the world is a stage and you know we are mere players you no know, different people compare life with okay so that is what we are going to learn today you know the poem you need one poem life and let me tell you you know this is a memory poem so you know you need to um, learn this and you need to memorize this and for that you need to understand you know i always say my students you know you should not just memorize the poem you should uh, understand the poem you know the poem is there are different way you know different people understand uh, the poem you know it's how you perspect this poem you know how you understand and this is not you know there is no hard and fast rule for poem you know the literal meaning applies you know you can understand in your own way you now let me tell you you know a simple way to memorize this poem you know you understand and learn don't just by heart from word to word you know that won't be help and you know this is a very didactic uh, poem and i am very happy that you are enjoying you know you have this poem for 10th standard you know you will have a fair understanding of what life is and you will you know uh, you will never come across you know disappointment uh, and all in life okay now you know this poem is written by henry van dyke and uh, you know uh, he is a, a, po a poet and uh, um is an american author poet educator and clergyman you know he was also in uh, church related things and that's why you know he is very philosophical and all he was served as a professor of english literature at princeton university Prince princeton university is a well known university uh in uh, you know at america and uh, okay so he have was also elected for american academy of arts and literature and received many other honors okay that's about the uh, author you know keep this in mind he is an educator he is also a clergyman and you know related to church and all you know kind of a philosophical person and with this poem you know it's a uh, uh, you know there are lots of lesson for life to learn through this poem okay now uh, let's begin with the poem and we will learn you know each line by line and you know that's why i always ask my students to make a note of it what all you are learning you know turn your textbook to page number 17 keep a pencil in hand to note down the meanings and as well as you know what all you understand through each line you know last time i forgot to tell you you know i told you to underline what you learned you know not that uh, when you learn if you can if you are not able to understand anything you just mark it with your pencil and you can ask teacher as well okay now we'll start with the poem uh, um okay you know as you need to memorize this poem i hope you know most of my have memorized this poem uh, till now uh, but you know it's very important for you to understand and, and then memorize it okay uh, the poem starts like this let me but live my life from year to year with forward face and unreluctant soul 
okay now the poem uh, the poet starts with telling let me live my life from year to year that is stating let me live no that should not be any disturbance nobody should you know pressurize me disturb me for my life you know let me but live my life from year to year you know i don't want to hurry from year to year you know the growth in my life should be my life should move from year to year gradually year to year and with forward face and unreluctant soul and you know i hope you will uh, note down this meaning with forward face here he says that i don't want to do something uh, which i sh you know i should hesitate about okay uh, let us come through this meaning you know what is uh, uh, forward face you know forward face means he says i should never back down in my life i should never look back in my life i should always move ahead you no know? when i grow from year to year it should be forward you know from year to year i should forward and with forward face that means i should not hesitate of anything which i did in the past and unreluctant soul unreluctant you know it's a new word as it is noted with the in the meaning without hesitation when when i move in my life ahead i should not hesitate about anything that happened in the past that means you know students we should not do anything in our life which will make us hesitate in future that what you want to learn no in life you should not do any such things that you will hesitate in future in future you know when you walk in your life you should raise your head and walk with forward face you know you should not be afraid of anyone you should not try to hide your face you should always march forward and with an unreluctant soul so that kind of you know you should uh, plan your life or you should live your life you know in that way and next not hurrying to not turning from the goal and not mourning for the things that disappear in the dim past not holding back in fear okay now what he says that here is my goal you know i am very bad in drawing i hope you can see this you know it's like winner's cup you know winner's cup okay this is the goal and he says i want to move towards goal and okay exactly what's the word he says um not hurrying to not turning from the goal he says you know if this is me in my life i should not hurry towards the goal that you know what all you know the goal my goal in my life i should not hurry towards it you know i should not you know exactly focus the goal and hurry towards it you know if it takes 5 years to fulfill my dream of in life you know i should not hurry i should not struggle hard to hurry towards it at the same time i should you know when i move slowly year to year gradually i should never turn away from the goal not turning from the goal uh i hope you are able to see clearly he says he don't want to turn from the goal you know not hurry towards the goal you should not hurry and at the same time you should not turn from the goal you know this poet henry van dyke you know is teaching many lessons for life he says in my in our life we should not hurry towards the goal no, we should enjoy our, our life gradually at the same time when we are moving gradually year to year we should never turn from the goal we should always focus towards the goal and at the same time we should not hurry you know that will make us tense you know uh, one thing you should always learn when you are tense uh when you are tensed in life you won't be able to do anything you won't be able to focus or concentrate anything you know you should always relax in cool mind whatever decision you take and even while learning you know that's what this poet is telling no um, okay we'll repeat the poem and here let me but live my life from year to year with forward face you know facing forwards and not hurrying to not turning away from the goal okay now next uh, not more mourning for the things that disappear in the dim past not holding back in fear 
okay now note on the meaning mourning mourning means you know feel sad you know if very bad thing anything happen in life you know we will mourn for that that's what he says okay now he says not mourning for the thing that disappear in the dim past now you know remember what the poet says he says i will not mourn i will not feel sad for what happened in the dim past okay so the po the poet says i not mourning for the thing that disappear in the dim past not holding back in fear from what the future wails okay the thing which you want to learn here is he says not mourning for the things that disappear in the dim past he says i will not feel sad you know when i live my life i should not feel sad upon about what happened in the dim past and here you know you should remember one thing he is also saying dim past is referring past as dull dark you know i should not feel sad about what happened in the past okay so you know i want you to imagine you know when we, when we drive uh, in the uh, at dark at night you know when you are moving in a car at night you know okay let me draw and explain you and you know so you may be you may understand clearly okay are you able to see um i think not okay so let me rub this or okay that will be good okay so here you know this is a there's a road very dark you know it's a th there's a thick dark night and only one vehicle you no know, one car uh, does it looks like car yeah somehow okay okay and okay imagine it's a car oh now it looks like car okay and you will have a headlight here and you are moving it's very dark and you know if i ask you when it's very dark and you know you will be able to see only few distance you know only few distance ahead of the vehicle you will be able to see clearly that's what life is present what here you will be able to see clearly and you don't need to feel sad about what happened in the dim past that went into the dark you're not going to see that again there is no use about thinking about that so that's what the poet says you know not mourning for the things that disappear you know for example when you come across you know there may be a hotel you know there may be a hotel here and when you cross the vehicle you won't be able to see that that disappeared that disappeared from your life you know one thing what all you see today in your life it may disappear in the dim past and you should not worry about that you know whatever that may be things living thing the trees the garden and you know i don't want to say anything what all you see even your friends you know very thick friends or anything they may disappear in the past and you should not feel sad about that so that's what the poet says you know so not mourning you know i want to live a life from year to year with forward face and unreluctant soul not mourning for the things that disappear in the dim past and at the same time he also says i should not worry about you know uh, not holding back in fear from what the future waits and uh, no let's come back to these examples now only for few distances ahead of the car you know during that thick night you will be able to see and there here may be lots of buildings hotels hospitals or whatever whatever in your way will you be able to see that no you know it is veiled that is it is covered veiled by the future you won't be able to see that and you should not have a fear you know it's a thick dark here i don't know what there is i don't want to move ahead i can't see anything and all don't worry about your future don't worry about your future you should in your life you should not worry about your future you know if, if you always worry about your future you won't be able to live properly in the present so that's what he says you know it is covered you know it is veiled and 
not holding back in fear i will not hold any fear about from what the future had veiled and you know with saying that he says uh, and happy heart but with the whole and happy heart that pay its pays its toll you know now what he says with a whole and uh, happy heart you know when i move ahead i will move ahead with my whole heart with my whole heart whole and happy heart you know not even part of thing is worry about that and all you know in the present i want to live with the whole and happy heart that pays its toll toll means what with whole and happy heart that pays its toll pays its toll means you know it's kind of a fine or anything you want to pay for any wrong you had done in the past you know sometimes mistakes happens in our life and if any mistake happen i will happily pay for it i will not worry about that yes i committed that mistake and with my whole and happy heart i will pay for it you know if any mistakes happen there will be a damage caused by that and you need to suffer that loss you know if it was my mistake and i want to suffer for it let me not worry about it happy with whole and happy heart i will admit my mistake and pay its toll and he is saying to youth and age and travel on with which here of my young days or old days you know i will pay for it and travel on with cheer you know with happiness be delightful i will be in my life for what i have done in the past if you are, if you know if the toll is uh, you know uh, positive i will be happy very happy and if it's negative i will not worry about it still i will pay you know i will try to be very happy okay that's what you know the poet says in the first stanza you know let's move to the next stanza so let the way wind up the hill or hill or down over a far smooth the journey will be joy so he says let the way wind up the hill or down okay now here the poet want to say is let the way wind up now wind up there are lots of meaning you know it's not wind uh it's a verb uh, we know moving air is called wind it's not wind it's a verb wind up you know wrap up to decide okay so let the way wind up you know i want to you know give you little gyan in this let the way wind up he says whether it's hill or down my future will be a top hill uh, again i need to rub this okay um yeah so in the journey of my life whether you know it will be a hill that is a success or it will be a down valley are you able to see clearly okay i think not okay hill and down a valley so whether i will reach here or here let the way wind up that is let the way decide i am not going to decide about my future see uh, i always ask my students to be diplomatic you know there are many people who says you know we need to be positive minded positive energy this that and all you know um, i i don't completely agree with this you know no always thinking positive won't you know help us and sometimes we need to be diplomatic and uh, uh, for example you know let take of 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 a student you know who wants to be a doctor who want to be a doctor and uh, with whole positive minded the students want to be doctor and it was thinking positive 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 and unfortunately not able to score good marks and not able to get a seat so what the student will do you know it was very positive that i will be a doctor i will be a doctor you know i don't think you no know, uh, you know don't take this example very seriously just think of it you know so you know it will be broken hearted disappointed and you know it will be very sad so at the same time it will is always wise to have a plan b 
if not this that so i will not decide let the way decide so you should be very wise in choosing your way which way you choose you will end up with that you know if you choose hill if you are able to you know take uh, what we say take pain and effort you know to reach it will be high hill or you know if you want to be very easy if you want to just enjoy 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 not bother about exam not uh, taking pain and effort to study learn or anything so down so let the way decide let the way decide let the way wind up whether i will reach hill or down okay so whatever it is whether it is hill or low over rough or smooth the journey will be joy whether it is rough or smooth you know whether my way is rough or my way is smooth i don't worry about my way but it's all joy for me even if i take effort or if it's if i want to take any pain or anything with whole and happy heart i will be doing that you know for the for my betterment of future okay so over a far smooth the journey will be joy still seeking what i saw when but a boy so he says i won't have any new expectation in my life you know uh, people always say is you know there should be no expectation you know the people who live without any expectation uh, i am not uh, 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 you know talking about the people who live without any plan but expectation you know the plan the way you know you should plan out but you should not worry about the result you know do your work never bother about the fruit or re result so he says you know my expectation will be still low what i was you know looking when i was a boy i don't have a new expectation in my life you know in henry, what the poet henry van dyke says about you know what kind of expectation he has he says um still seeking what i saw when but a boy new friendship high adventure and a crown he says new friendship in my life i want to meet new friendship in my life move ahead my expectation is just you know i want to make new friends new friends i want to be acquainted with you know i want to be you know familiar with or i want to uh, meet new people i want to have new friends new friendship i want to develop my relay you know uh, relation with new people i want to meet new people he says that's what i expect you know he says new friendship high adventure you no know, he says high adventure adventure means you know you should think of you know you should think what is high adventure high adventure, adventure is not what you know uh, adventure is not when you plan something for example if we say you know if uh, in class it is announced tomorrow we are going to you know kishkinta or ngm water park or anything you know if you go there it won't be an adventure because you are all will be well prepared with that you know what is there what kind of ride is there what kind of dress we need what kind of food we should carry everything you know and it will be you know you will have some expectation and you, you only your expectation will be met but he says i had venture life should be high adventure we don't know you know if any new things happen in our life we should not worry about he says you know that's what i look about you know it's a risk you know if you all of a sudden you planning and you go for a trekking you don't know what kind of things you will meet and it's a altogether a new place it will be fun now that's what adventure is that what thrill will be sometimes it will will be you know it will end up with good or sometimes you know you need to suffer a bit you know that's adventure you know so that's what he says a uh, new friendship high adventure and a crown crown your i think a victory you know he, he wants to win he wants to win what he does you know you want to win on whatever it does you know that's what he expect so you know that much input he will be giving you no know? so that's what he says from childhood onwards he had he got this all this three expectations new friendship i had adventure and a crown and he says my heart will keep the courage of the quest and hope the roads last and will be the best he says my heart will keep the courage of the quest the mission the journey of my life 
you know my heart that will be a courage in my life you know whatever happens in my life you know i will have a courage i will have a hope of this mission that you know my life will be successful my life will be successful i will always have this courage in my heart and with that you know he always he, he has a prayer that my i hope the low the road's last turn will be the best you know imagine the first the second example which i gave you know when you move through a vehicle in a dark road you can't see what there is far away but you know even it is day time you will be only able to see the turn of the road you know every road wherever it may be there will be a turn in the end and you cannot see whether it is day or night you cannot see what is in the end of the road no i want to give a small example you know uh, when i went you know traveled in car from chennai to hyderabad you know always you know we want to have some tea or snacks you know on the way so we will be thinking will be you know whenever there is lots of tea shops and all you know we will always think ah this doesn't look good yeah this doesn't look good oh there will be some other good and you know when we cross the city we will be looking for a tea shop we won't find and we will you know uh, look there you know is there any tea shop and all and no no oh, there won't be there and we will see you know when the road turns we will have a hope you know after this turn there may be a tea shop we can find and we'll be looking for the turn and once it takes a turn and immediately we'll check and if there is no tea shop or no there is no any you know other snacks or anything we will have a hope the next turn when it takes there maybe we will be finding something and definitely we will find that's what in life also you will be able to find you know and you will always have a hope that in my life the road's last turn will be the best you know being in 10 standard you know it's a great turning point it's a great turning point and you should have a hope you know my life will change you know once i take this turn and he says this hope you will always have even when it is you know the example when we took a turn for the tea shop we can't find we will have a hope the next turn will be the best in the same way in, in life you may be looking for good days in life you will be looking for a turning when you can't find don't give up the hope you know the next turn the next turn that hope you know with whole and happy heart if you move forward you will enjoy that life no what is that you know that's what not the end no life is not the destination life is the journey no matter the destination the journey you know is the life and this journey the way which you decide the effort which you put you know that will get you to the destination the destination you know don't uh, think that one day i will achieve all my dreams dreams and that day i will be happy in my life no 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 don't wait for that too long right now this is life you know the effort which you do the hard work which you take in life that is what life is no it's a very interesting poem and you know which teach lots of lessons you know that's what don't don't just memorize it try to understand try to understand you know it will be fun and for one time i will read this poem and you know with uh, uh, you know pay attention to the pronunciation and all and you know okay i hope it will be helpful for you to learn life henry van dyke let me but live my life from year to year with forward face and unreluctant soul not hurrying to not turning from the goal not mourning for the things that disappear in the dim past nor holding back in fear from what the future wills but with a whole and happy heart that pays its toll to youth and age and travels on with cheer so let the way wind up the hill or down over a far smooth jo- the journey will be joy still seeking what i sought when but a boy new friendship i adventure and a crown my heart will keep the courage of the quest and hope the road's last turn will be the best thank you students and i hope you enjoy this poem you know in some other uh, videos i may uh, 
give some uh, figures of speech poetic device and uh, rhyming words and all you know that will be helpful for you know this poem is just for, uh, this video is just for the explanation and if you have any doubt or anything underline in your book ask your uh, teachers and if you need additional help, help you can approach me and i want you know my students if you need any other lessons interesting lessons you know if you comment my next vid video will be on that okay students uh, have a great day all the best for your life ahead thank you